It's me, Clarissa, here on Clarissa Says, where Clarissa says it all, and that is how I feel. So, good morning, you guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I needed to chime in really quickly just to fill you up on a couple of things that I have not talked about. I know that I'm about a day and a half um, behind because this, this situation happened on Sunday evening, but I was having phone issues, so I was not able to jump on the story as soon as possible so for those that were on my channel looking like where's Chris good story I'm sorry so um, I'm in my car and I try not to do these like that anymore like you know just because I know people are saying the lighting and the noise and all that but I have to do this like ASAP so here it is you guys 21 Savage was actually arrested by ICE by ICE yes the immigrant you know whatever it's called the people that catches the immigrants that are here illegally arrested 21 Savage. Now, his name is something that's totally off the wall. He has like four names and his last name is like Abraham Joseph. And it's just like his first name is like some little Abu Dhabi child. It is definitely a UK, like African, um, you know, well, not so African, but you know, basically like a, a origin that is something not like American. Now, for those that do not know, 21 Star is actually from Dominica, oh, sorry, Dominica. And um, that is actually ran by the UK. So legally, he is actually a UK citizen. He never has gotten his citizenship. Basically, 21 Savage has been here in the States illegally since 2000 and we can say five, but everyone has been saying six, technically like 2004, but legally 2006, okay? Because that's when his visa has um, actually, that's when his visa, you know, expired completely, like completely legitly expired. The story says 2006 is when it expired, but 2005, that's when he noticed it's when it expired and they started to move forward towards trying to salvage his visa, but it never happened. So, he has been in the States since then illegally, and recently he tried to go and get a U visa. Now, for those of you that don't know what that is, I'm going to go into details with, uh, with you guys briefly. Basically, um, a U visa is a visa for people that have been in the States illegally for over 10 years, and um, they give them more of like a uh, an acceptance because now, most likely not, they have relatives or they have kids kids or they have family members that are now here in the states that can basically say that they are here working and that they are being taken care of and that they are legitly good citizens compared to people that just come from other places that have nobody here in America and is literally coming over with nobody you know so in 21 Savage's case he has his three kids that were born here in America so he has family and he has their mothers and their you know their um family members that he can consider as his family as relatives now 21 Savage was born in dominica dominica sorry born in dominica which is actually um well, well it actually is a uk based uh, uh island um it's a very small 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 location and um yeah so the uk runs that so legally when he was born um he was born in the in dominica Dom oh my gosh dominica so um when he came over here he never got his legal citizenship and recently he tries to get his u visa because he can get it from he's been here for over 10 years he's been working he has so he can get that and they would have given it to him and he'll be a legal um u.s citizen but um yeah from him going to file for his u visa they now put the attention on him and they said oh well you've been here for how long without an active visa like you know what i don't know let's say a citizenship i say u visa but basically it's close enough to being a citizen but yeah you've been here for how long without an active visa and not only that, he has these felony charges of the drug-related charges that he has. So that is where the arrest 
came from. Now, Ice was actually on the scene when all of this stuff happened, and that's how Ice got involved. Now, Ice saw and knew that 21 Savage was here on this expired visa back in 2017. They just didn't make any actions towards. But him putting himself out there to get a new U visa um, to basically be able to travel outside of the country for tours and to basically be able to be in the clear to be in the USA, that is what put him on the map. That's what put him in his forefront. Now, I'm going to go back to the felony. Him having a felony, normally people that get felonies um, here and they are in trouble here in America and they're not a citizen, they're not on a visa, whatever, even if you are on a visa, um, they normally ship, ship you back. They, they take you back to where you're from 21 Savage has been here and the whole point of the lawyers and everything to add on top of the U visa um getting the, you know putting that information there is to also try and get him to stay here legally but with the whole felony um charge and things that he has been involved with the case you know of the things that they technically want him to go back to Dominica because of the trouble that he has been in now, what I want to do is read you this TMZ article real quick so you guys can get a full forefront of, um, you know, the details of what's going on as of today, since I am actually past the whole, you know, let it out be known. But there have been so many 21 Savage memes that are out there. It is hilarious. Like, sir, savage. Like, <laughs> it's so funny. But I'm going to read you guys what TMZ is saying. Okay, guys. So I want us to read this to you very quickly. This is coming from TMZ.com. And I just wanted to read this to you to give you more of an insight on what's going on with 21 Savage. I make sure to give credit to TMZ because I don't want YouTube saying anything like I stole my information. So I'm giving credit directly to TMZ for this actual article. And it is titled, Exclusive 21 Savage Visa Application May Have Triggered His Arrest. Which makes perfect sense. Okay, y'all? So 21 Savage was turned was not turned over to ICE by the DeKalb County Police. Turns out... Ice was on the scene when they pulled over the car in which the rapper was riding in. 21's lawyer was irate, like very irate over Sunday's arrest for being in the U.S. illegally, saying Ice knew about the rapper's status since 2017 when he filed for a U visa. So in 2017, that's when 21 Savage filed for a legal U.S. visa. Sorry, U visa, not U.S. visa. The legal U visa. The thing is, until Sunday, Ice had no interaction with 21 Savage. So 2017, 28, 29 to two years years basically what's more you know annoying to the lawyer is that 21's lawyer says that ice blew it by basing their arrest in part on the rapper's previous felony as reported, 21 pled guilty to felony drug charges in 2014, but the record was expunged last year, 2018. ICE does not have to honor any expungement. The arrest and conviction can trigger deportation action, but because of it being expunged, the ICE cannot, you know, they don't have to honor that. So ironically, 21 Savage's move to become a legal resident may have caused the arrest because USCIS investigated the application and does a full background check which apparently revealed he was born in the UK yeah. it came to the US legally in 2005 with the visa right. but then it expired the next year which is 2006 and he has been here in the USA illegally ever since now, as for why Savage decides to ask for a U visa, like, if you know you're here illegally, you had a felony, they didn't deportate, you know, deport you, why would you even try to, you know, put people in your business? Why would you try to put yourself out there for a U visa? So, in 2017, that's when he filed for this U visa, there's a form of relief available for people who have been in the U.S. illegally for 10 years or longer, which is what I said, y'all, who have a qualifying U.S. relative living here. In Savage's case, he has three kids who were born here problem is ice apparently believes the felony convictions knocks him out of the box so now that you know they're bringing it up ice may not give him the qualifications to be able to get this u visa to be here legally because of his kids 
Now, another reason why he wanted the visa, of course, is because it allowed him to tour and go out the country, which he was not able to do because he is here illegally. Now, 21's cousin, rapper um, Young Nutty, well, uh, Nudie, sorry, was also um, arrested in the same bus with him. He had a warrant out stemming from an incident in 2017. According to documents, Nutty or Nudie was accused of shooting a man twice in the hip and once in the buttocks in the butt, boy. But the man survived the attack. So, to sum it up, y'all, exactly what I said. Um, 21 Savage basically was trying to be able to go on tour, make more money. And he was not able to do so because of him not being a legal citizen. And they came after him. Like, they said, no, you got this felony charge. You got this and that. We're going to come, you know, you got to get out. Basically, is how I feel. However, I know for a fact his lawyers are very, very, very persistent. And they're going to come up with something to make sure that he is stay Because he's also making money for the U.S. as well details kind of add up and make sense i do feel bad for the fact that you know he does have kids here so you may have the opportunity or like that 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 um that option that he could be deported back to the dominica um you know he may have not been there for a while so he may not know his, well of course he knows his family but he doesn't know like where what's going on down there either way he still has money in you know on his bank in his pocket probably sending overseas so he may be good but the problem is that you know you're in limbo now like what's going to happen so I'm pretty sure his lawyers are going to be on point. I'm pretty sure his lawyers, you know, have a plan. And I'm pretty sure that most likely than not, they will give him a, um, some access to stay here in the U.S. Because he's been here so long. That's all he knows. And, you know, he has made a real life for himself. Even when he, he was here, he, you know, he did live in Atlanta. People are saying, oh, well, he not, he's not from here. He was fake. No, 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 no. He, if you do the math of how old he is, he was literally here from a child. Like, he was here in Atlanta, in the U.S., living and, you know, surviving and, you know, just doing his thing. Being a, you know, being a hood nigga. <laughs> Being a savage, being a savage. So Twenty One Savage was being a savage out there in Atlanta, and <laughs> I don't have a really good accent, but y'all, y'all, these memes are killing me. What I'm going to try to do is collect a couple of them and put a video together. I may or may not do that, but I just want to make sure I came to see you guys with the full story as to what's going on right now, since I was late with recording and getting this information out to you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Tuesday, and make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video, y'all. Let's go ahead and see the outcome of Someone Savage. If you guys get any new updates on what's going on with him, please go ahead and put it in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, y'all.